hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to learn how to make product slider for multiple product images with zoom effect okay guys to build this we'll be using a jquery plugin so guys now let's get started so first let's move to jquery script.net guys okay so hit enter jquery script.net and search here for the x zoom x zoom hit enter and now you can see that product carousel with magnifying glass effect that is jquery x zoom so let's see a demo over here first okay if you just hover on image your image is getting zoomed and if you hover here the images are changing and here we have a got a navigation button to change okay so now guys, let's download this plugin and use it in our project so let me close here and let's go here and here you see download option click on that and now guys let's click once again download so let's download okay so it's downloaded guys and now let's go to our downloads folder so here it is now guys what we will do Control x so just cut this and get back to your project so inside your laravel ecom project go to your public folder inset public folder inside a set and then paste here guys and now let's extract this file extract here done so it's extracted guys and now let me delete this zip file and if you go inside you will find that src folder inside that src we have all the files okay so what we are going to do let's name this src as x zoom okay zoom done now let's cut this and paste outside in the asset folder and you can delete this folder okay so inside your x zoom you just need that src files that's all so all is available here guys and now let's get back to our code so yep let me close everything here we close and just be on web.php so guys now let's get back to our application go to categories guys selecting the category select with this mi note 7 so this is my product on this page i want to show multiple images as we have inserted in our backend okay so guys now let's go to this path let me close this okay now you can get back to your web.php collection category and this is your product slug so product slug is nothing but this mi note 7 cool and now guys let's go to the front end controller at what you have to go you have to go to product view function so first let's search for this front end controller control e and search guys open the front end controller and go to the product view function so we reached here and then you move to your blade file so let's go over there at the blade view blade.php and here you see we have a live wire blade component okay so let's move to this blade guys let's control and click and you reach there perfect so now guys from beginning i'm showing this here you see that image column md5 is for image and column md7 for is the product details so this is column md5 and this is for product data okay and this is your description that is below tag this is the description part so now guys we need to work on this image okay so product image has multiple images so let's comment over here and now you can get back to the documentation of that plugin okay let's scroll below so how to use it so first you have to link your jquery and uh, xzoom css and js files so guys now first link the css let's get back to the linking of appblade.php so we have extended here you can see that extends app layout okay so go to your app blade.php and move to your head tag inside the head tag we are going to copy and paste here x zoom for example we can keep product image okay so to understand this 
and here let's change the path jquery xzoom.css let's copy that and paste here and before this you need to name the file name correctly so what is the file name here you see that inside public asset asset folder we have xzoom let me f2 copy and get back and paste here so inside assets we have xzoom done so this was about the linking of css and now you can get back to the script so you find that two scripts are there this is one jquery cdn link so we already have that that let's ignore that and then we are going for this js file xzoom.js so move below so here you see we have already the jquery file and you need to set up your xzoom.js file let's copy and paste here let's control c and x and then paste and here you change the file name what is that file name? let me close this not required this is xzoom okay so copy that xzoom file name and paste it that's it guys and you see that we have a code to implement it so first let us copy this completely okay let's click here to copy let's copy this close and now you can get back to your view blade.php okay paste it let me remove this unwanted things which we don't require here here multiple images are there let's remove that as simple guys now let's copy this and loop the images so here this is my li tag i want to loop so let's go inside ul tag and use for each and paste this variable product of product images as item or product item image okay so let's keep this item image push this li tag inside the for each loop and here is a image src so what we have to do let us copy this guys first and paste here let's paste it and now you need to copy this item image of image okay image done so this starts looping your image data and now guys let's get back to the documentation again and you have to see that to initialize the plugin here is the code so this is one code and this is for the extra benefits like you can set the width and all and autoplay it is by default true so we have to make it false so guys let's copy this code okay let's copy here and yep copy get back and use here itself in the below okay so start your push and end push so here type scripts and then use a script tag and paste the code let's all set guys and so to work this push you need to check that your stack is available over here okay if you provide this then only your push will work and make sure you are pasting under this okay this tag should be below your live wire script so now guys you can copy this name script and paste here so it will work fine as simple guys and here i just want to make it false i don't want to loop by default when we hover that time only it should loop or change okay so now guys let's save and now you can get back okay let me go to now you can refresh perfect so guys you can see all images are looped in a carousel wise and here if you zoom it just zooms over there okay so it shows you all the data and if you just click here it will also navigate okay working fine so now guys after all this implementation if i go and click here add to cart so what happens here you see that everything changes over here okay so guys to skip this you just need to add wire colon ignore so here come to your border tag i mean just before your if condition of product images 
let me minimize everything so it will be more clear this is my column md5 inside that and here you need to add wire colon ignore so just ignore this whenever we call any live wire calls ajax call it should ignore it okay yep and now let's refresh and now let's try to click add to cart add to wish list anything and now click add to cart login add to cart okay so you see everything works fine so now let's click on add to wish list so guys we see that again it have misbehaved because it is we have shown the message over here and also in the alert so guys let's remove this over here whatever it loaded so what we can do we'll remove this Control x and just remove that and now let's refresh here and now guys let's try to add to wish list again add to wish list perfect login to continue and it doesn't change this everything works fine guys cool let me check with the quantity okay nothing happens so guys we have successfully completed how to implement the product image slider with the zoom effect okay so guys let's continue next video with the new topic of laravel 9 e-commerce series so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share